Okay, so our first news topic of the day is going to be uh, uh, play, uh, come on, I can't talk today. Uh, player Unknown's Battlegrounds developer quote, I don't know if we deserve Game of the Year award. Uh, this is from IGN.com, written by Tom Marks. Uh, speaking to Player Unknown Battlegrounds creative director Brandon Player Unknown Green, I asked what he thought of early access games like PUBG considered for Game of the Year awards. And somewhat surprisingly, he told me personally, I don't want to win a game of the Game of the Year award. Well, I would love to win it for the team. I think this year has been a far. Uh, 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 ah, can't talk tonight. Think I think this year there have been far better games. Green specifically uh, called out The Legend of Zelda: Breath of the Wild and Horizon Zero Dawn as masterpieces of game design and storytelling. They're just wonderful, wonderful games. I think they will probably be. Uh, win it. I would hope they would win it, uh, Green said uh, the award would be a nice uh, feather in their cap for the PUBG Corp team, but reiterated, I don't know if we deserve it, end quote. Uh, and I'll post a whole link in the chat for those who want to read the entire article, but it brings up a good question and something that has been, the lines have been blurring uh, since early access has been introduced was, oh, there's no video. Um, <laughs> Um, <laughs> you guys like a black screen? Because that's what you're getting. Yeah. Uh, there we go. PUBG. Um, so, yeah. Like, it's... This, 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 the lines between, you know, what a finished game is and what is not is kind of been blurred because of the early access uh, was introduced from Valve and other sites and whatnot. So, my question... I'll leave this to you, Greg, to, to, to answer. But do you think... Okay. Do you think early access games should be considered for Game of the Year awards? So, I think it's a case-by-case -case basis. I don't think Blake and statement that comment is, is good. The uh, reason I say that is because some early access games don't have the clout that PUBG does. Um, I think PUBG is more of a complete game than it's not. Uh, also, besides, like, most multiplayer games that come out anyway, like, have content added as time goes on or adjusted or whatever um also i'm gonna tell you a little story about my um about a conversation i had with my my parents um i said since you guys know nothing about video games at this point let me let me give you a scenario and see what you guys think so i gave them the exact story that you just kind of told and i said does a game that is technically not a full complete release deserve to be up for a game of the year my mom says no uh, why would you say a, ga a game that's not complete is, deserves to be in that category? And my dad goes, well, hang on. Um, plenty of things that are not complete have gotten awards. And my mom was like, really? And I, I kind of shook my head. I was like, yeah. She goes, my dad says, uh, how about Je uh, uh, Bruce Lee's Game of Death? That's an incomplete movie and has got tons of awards. How about the Mona Lisa, a revered painting that's not finished? Yeah, um, I was gonna say is um, it's is for me like when it comes to early access games, I think, I think if you're able to buy the game, if the game has some way you can buy it and you the game is charging you microtransactions or some other fee, then to me that game is 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 sold or or, or is done per se, you know, quote unquote. Um, because, you know, as far as, you know, as long as I've been gaming for a long time, as well as you, Greg, and anybody else who's been in this industry for a while, um, once the finished product is out there, you know, it's up to, to us to, you know, judge it, yay or nay, or how good it is to buy it. Um, and, well, again, this is very blurry lines becomes, you know, this very gray area as far as, like, you know, a completed game and not a completed game. If you're able to buy the game, I feel like that, then this should be considered your game of the year. Um, and this is something that, while he may uh, say like he does not agree with the idea of being nominated for Game of the Year, which we'll get into in the in the next one for the, for the Game Awards, um, th th it's going to be considered from a lot of outlets anyways, regardless. Well, it, you know, what 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 cracks me up, Anthony, is that like at the second that that happened, that that it came out that it was nominated for Game of the Year. Um, there were tons of people on, on Twitter and, and Facebook, like, complaining, like, 
it's not a complete game. How does it deserve to be in that same category as all these other great games that were complete? Like, people were throwing other games out there that weren't as popular, like uh, um, Nier uh, Antonima, or Tonima, whatever the fuck it's called. Um, that game is a complete game, but it's not up for game of the year. And something that, like, I saw in those comments that was pointed out that I thought was brilliant was two factors. Game of the, the, the Game Awards are based off of some criteria, some important criteria. Nier may have been a success in terms of popularity amongst fans, popularity amongst uh, critics. At the end of the day, it didn't sell that well. It full-on did not sell that well. I get numbers it's, to say otherwise, but go on. <laughs> well, it sold well enough. It didn't sell 20 million copies. Mm, no. I mean, but then you kind of, then that, that raises the question. It's like, what exactly is a successful uh, number for some of these companies? Is it 2 million? Is it 5 million? And obviously it's going to, it's going to differ. Well, I think, I think that, I think successful Anthony is, is making a profit. Successful is making a profit. Just because you made your money back does not make you successful. Successful is if you spent a hundred million on a game and you get 150 million back. That's successful. Uber successful is if you double that. If you double, like, you get $200 million for the game. Right. Right. Um, those are just absolutely ballpark numbers. But my point is, is, is Nier didn't do that. Um, I'll even try to look up the, the numbers on Nier because that, I mean, that's that's a, that's a that's a huge factor into, you know, talking about that sort of thing. Uh, just FYI, Nier uh, sold 2 million copies. Okay, that's that's fine, but I need to know if that if they made their money back from here. Oh yeah, I tried, I tried looking that up. There's actually a reason why I, I have numbers on here for for a reason um, for the later conversation. But like, uh, real quickly, they made two million copies. But I was trying to look up uh, as far as like what the how many uh, how much money they made, and I don't seem to find information. And apparently, nobody really tells that actually. So like, and th not just for Square Enix, but it seems like anybody else in the game industry did not put out like price numbers or or uh, numbers numbers uh so yeah i learned something mm -hmm. new today about that um so that well i would hope i would hope that they put out like something to kind of s signify here we go sales the game sold certainly they're in japan uh 198,000 um copies but not. yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> By April twenty first of two thousand seventeen, it sold three hundred thirteen million, or sorry, thousand. Um, and they shipped five hundred thousand across Asia and Japan. On a global scale, it's been reported that over one point five million copies of the game have been shipped worldwide to the at the end of Ev May. So that's shipped. That's not sold. And if you look it up, uh, there's actually an article saying that uh, uh, they sold to him. Actually, there's actually, <coughs> actually there's a site actually dedicated to how many copies a, a game is sold, um, which I saw, I found part of my information on. Let me see if I can look for it real quick. Uh, I did that and this. Uh, yeah. I, I'm, I'm also like I'd also like to point out that you know who who in their right mind, honestly, on the internet. Is taking the game awards seriously enough to care? Uh, like, like, uh, Anthony, I, that, that, is, that is a facetious. That is a facetious. <laughs> I know, I know. Because everyone makes fun of the game awards. Everyone says it's a joke. Yet the second that they do the game of the year nominations, everyone loses their goddamn mind. It's like, wh wait, it's one or the other, guys. Right. I mean, like, it, it's it, it's one or the other for sure, and I think that it's. It's fun. It's just for fun right. and take it as that. If you don't enjoy a game like like um PUBG and you think that it is an unfinished mess, then then hope a different game that is nominated deserves it cuz honestly, I think the two best games of the year are in there. That's Breath of the Wild and Odyssey. Yeah. And uh those it's going to be between those two hands down regardless of the nomination. Yeah. Yeah, because everybody loves Nintendo. Nintendo so, always wins. I can't really see the timer because the way you have this set up, it's 16 seconds, right? Yeah, fi yeah, 15 seconds left now. So, okay. Or All right, so left. I will shut up and you finish the topic and then we'll move. All right. All right. So, yeah. So, um, nonetheless, I think that the Game of the Year awards will say otherwise if it is or, is or not. 
um, whether or not it is already access or not it's kind of to your own opinion but if you don't like their if you don't like the awards as Craig said um, there are many other outlets that do their own rewards as well so and you may agree with that or your own opinion who knows all right so moving on to our next topic which 